Hey there, Terrence again from Neptune Systems, bringing you another product highlight. This time with information about our dose, fluid metering, and dosing solution. First of all, dosing systems are nothing new. They've been around in the marine aquarium hobby or the aquarium hobby for quite a number of years. Um, for a couple of the last years, we've been working on a, our own dosing system. And just last year, we introduced the dose. Um, in this video, I'd like to go over all of the features and benefits of the dose and make you more familiar with it. Uh, so at the end, you really have an understanding of how we address some of the issues in this market and built what we think is a great uh, quality product for your needs. First of all, uh, the product is pronounced dose. I know it's kind of funny looking. It only has three letters and we left the E off. Um, but we do have some people who are still stuck in the 80s and calling it DOS. Uh, you know who you are out there, but it is the dose. Um, and it's kind of a little double meaning. Uh, it's dose because it obviously has two, uh, two pumps um, and it doses your system. So it does have a long O and uh, we, hope that, uh, we hope that sticks. So why have a dosing pump on your aquarium or specifically on your marine aquarium? Well, the most common answer to that is that you want to replace calcium and alkalinity in the aquarium that's being depleted by your corals. And most people have to do this manually, either with uh, dosing it once a week or even some people once a day. Um, and it can be quite the hassle and you can get the numbers wrong and it's not consistent for your aquarium. But with a dosing pump, you can have it happen all day long without you having to do anything other than exchange out and replace the, the, the fluid in your containers. Now the other reason that we would have a dosing pump on our aquarium is something that a lot of people aren't quite using right now and I think, uh, I personally think it's a great solution and that is an automatic and ongoing water change. And this could be for a small aquarium or even a, a very large aquarium. Uh, in, in this case, you have one jug that holds the old water and one jug that holds the new water and your dose basically pulls the water out that's bad and puts the water in that's good and then say every week all you do is go take the old water out put the empty jug back in and refill the good water and that's all you have to do for a water change this actually results in a in a much better aquarium because the water change happens first of all um, second of all it keeps your aquarium much more consistent um, having that happen ongoing rather than all at once it's kind of like having a dialysis so to speak for your aquarium and all of those trace elements all of those different things are all being put back into the aquarium all week long all month long 365 days a year now Another thing that people who have reef aquariums use a dosing pump for is for other kinds of elements or additives that they want to put in the aquarium. Some of the most popular ones might be magnesium uh, as another additive or even things like amino acids such as uh, acropower from Two Little Fishies. Um, there are other things that people dose as well and uh, it, it's really a way that you can accurately put a certain amount of this fluid in on a regular basis. The last thing that's kind of common using a, a dosing pump for is putting liquid foods into the tank. So especially if you have very finicky fish that require you to have some sort of a liquid food diet, you actually can put the dosing pump in a refrigerated system and dose those foods into the aquarium. So it's our feeling that in order to have success with a dosing system, you have to both have quality hardware as well as quality software that's easy to use and set up. This is what we set out to do when we designed the DOE system is to answer both of those needs. Now let's first talk about the hardware that goes into the DOE. So here's our DOE system right here. And the DOE system uh, has two pumps. As I said, it's called the DOE. And it's an Aquabus device. That means that it plugs directly into your Apex system. Um, it also has a power connection. It comes with a power supply. We have one here, small power supply that it comes with. And you plug the power supply in, you plug the uh, Aquabus cable in, and you basically configure it in your system. Now one of the nice things is, is that if you don't want to run with a power supply, and instead you happen to have our wave system that I did a video on uh, previous to this one and you have the one link system you actually can plug in the one link cable right here into 
uh, into the dose and you don't need that power supply. And uh, so that makes it a really clean solution for, for setting it up. Um, now one of the other things that's really nice about the dose is that it has a curve on it here and a curve on it on the bottom and you see this extra set of rubber feet. That's so that these can be stacked two up. So if you want to have multiple dose systems, you can stack them. Additionally, if you do want to hang it on your wall, it has a couple of pop outs here in the back so that whether it's on the wall in your fish room or on the side of your stand, inside your stand, it has an easy way to hang it up there. So let's talk about what is the key component in any dosing pump, and that's the pump itself. Now these pumps are all peristaltic pumps. What does that mean exactly? Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at one of these pumps and see how it works. I'll take apart the dose pump and show it here. You'll see that there is a wheel with some rollers, and those rollers pinch on a piece of tubing, and it effectively creates a conveyor belt for the fluid that's running through that tubing to move it along. One of the interesting things about a peristaltic dosing pump is that the bigger the diameter of the pump, the more efficiently it works and the longer it lasts because the pinching of the tubing isn't like a sharp pinch but a bigger diameter on the roller and it makes it last longer. So that's one of the reasons why we get asked, for instance, uh, why do you make the, the dosing pump so big? And the answer is, is because effectively with peristaltic dosing pumps, bigger is better. Now, the pumps go together with an easy snap mechanism, so when you do wear out the pump head on a dose, it's very easy to change it out. Um, it just snaps right on. You don't have to mess around with the tubing and the lubricant and all of these things that peristaltic uh, dosing pumps out on the market make you do. You just get the new pump head, you snap it on. They last about, oh, six, seven hundred hours. Depends on the speed you're running the pump and what you're pushing through it, of course. Um, the next thing about our peristaltic dosing pump that separates it from the rest uh, is the motor itself. Now, we use a stepper motor, actually an industrial grade stepper motor, very similar to those you might see on a, uh, a high-end 3D printer. Um, the difference there is most dosing pumps that are on the market use a pump motor you would often find in the RC car you get at Toys R Us, and that is a brushed motor. Um, there's a big difference. What's the difference? First of all, with a, a stepper motor, it is a brushless motor. It has no brushes. Um, brushes are the things inside that make the motor get uh, energized and allow it to spin around. And like brake pads on your car, they actually wear out. Um, and they also, like brake pads on your car, uh, when they wear, they perform differently. So if you turn this pump on, this small pump, for 10 seconds when it's new, the amount of fluid that it's going to pump when it has 300 hours on it is going to be different because the shoes or the, in this case, the, uh, the brushes in the motor have worn down. That will not happen with a stepper motor. Um, also, the, the overall accuracy because you're actually spinning this like a, like a digital clock. It knows exactly all the spots where to stop around the clock. Um, it can be super accurate, whereas a dosing pump using a standard brush motor like this one or like this one, either of these motors uh, on these pumps, either of these use that brushed motor and they're not super accurate. They don't, they don't last very long. So a stepper motor driven a dosing pump is far better than one that uses a brushed motor. The next thing is the fittings, and we saw this is a major problem with pumps out there on the market. And that is, the pumps generally on the market have very small tubing and a very tiny little fitting. You can see here on this fitting um, that the hole is really, really small, which means it's going to clog. Um, it also, because of the fitting is a push-on fitting, the tubing gets hard over time, it cracks, and it lets air in. It could leak, but air is usually what happens, and then when you get air, air is the enemy, and it doesn't pump anything into your aquarium. Um, so we said we need to have a more industrial type fitting. We want to have a, a fitting that is a uh, compression fitting where you put the tubing on, you screw this down, and you get a nice tight fit. Also the tubing itself that we use right out of the pump is a very uh, wide diameter tubing so it does not clog. This is super important as well. 
So now that we've talked about the hardware and some of the differences in the dose uh, as compared to other solutions on the market, um, now let's talk about what we think is the real differentiator and that's the software. Um, many dosing systems out on the market make it really difficult for you to program them or to configure them. You have to convert time to milliliters. Uh, you, you know, the calibration, sometimes there is no calibration. Um, but with the dose, we spent time to basically trim it all down to make it really easy. And in our Apex Fusion software, you can just say, I want to dose this many milliliters in this much time. Uh, and it just does it. And it figures it out and it slices and dices the time and the amount of volume and everything all for you. So the dose can be used with the standard classic uh, dashboard interface or it can be used with Apex Fusion. Now what I'm going to cover here is only going to be in Apex Fusion because it's a, it's a much better interface. It's, we spent a lot more time on doing it in Apex Fusion so that it figures all of these things out for you. Um, first of all, once you plug in the Apex into your system uh, and to get it set up, after you get it set up, you will see these tiles on your, on your dashboard. And there is a tile that shows exactly the history of dosing for each one of the two pumps. And there's a tile that shows exactly what the pump is doing right now, meaning if it's in the process of dosing or it's not in the process of dosing. So now that I've told you guys all about the dose and what makes it different, all the great features in the product and even shown you how it's set up in Apex Fusion, the last thing I want to tell you about is the great accessory that we have for the dose which is called the DDR. And the DDR is the dose dual reservoir and in a future product highlight video I'm going to tell you all about it but for now just know there's a great accessory for the dose. And I hope this was, a, was an excellent highlight video for you guys and these things are helping you out to understand our products better. If they are, please subscribe and uh, give us comments. Tell us how we're doing. Until next time, this is Terrence with Neptune Systems. Have a great one.